And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some unyielding powder. That's right, we're gonna be bringing this kind of deck back. We played a an unyielding powder deck, which by the way means unyielding spirit, trying to put this on a um, more on powder kegs, right? Like so, we're gonna be trying to put it on on a powder keg. And we we tried this deck before with the pirate Lux, if you remember that video from I don't know about a week ago or so, and it it did really well. I was actually actually was really uh, happy with it. And after seeing uh, that deck, uh, we had a viewer that said, "Hey, I have a very similar deck to that, and I want you to give it this uh, version a try as well." And so we're doing it today on donation deck day. So we have four donation decks today. So these are all uh, viewer submitted lists. And this one, again, is going to be using that unyielding spirit, um, you know, with the powders and trying to make the powder kegs unkillable. And then we can keep stacking the powder kegs and make them more and more powerful. This list, kind of similar to the Pirate Lux list, we may not be able to take great advantage of the powder kegs, though, kind of looking over it. We have... Uh, as far as things that do damage, we have just one parlay, which I kind of feel like we need some more parlays, to be honest. But we got the one parlay, we have Make It Rains, um, and then we have Twisted Fate, the, the red or the gold card, and Riptide Rex. And that's about it, I guess, if, if we have a, a leveled up Gangplank, but that's probably not going to happen at all. So we don't have a lot of ways to take advantage of it, but we only need a couple. Um to to uh really you know like just basically like one you know like if we can get, just get a bunch of powder kegs out like one make it rain like the game ends kind of thing so if you have five powder kegs in play one make it rain does six damage to three different enemies you know like a, the game's over um but yeah so i'm you know we have like single combat in here and detain and i'm not sure how good like those kind of removal cards will be uh you know that that don't uh, help our powder kegs out at all um, you know, so we'll kind of see, like, we don't, uh, like, Grizzled Ranger seems like a card that maybe we should have in here, but, I don't know, let's, let's just give this a try, you know, let's, let's try out this list, and let's play some games, and see how we do. Ooh, we need to, definitely need to go to, over to the Slaughter Docks for this, uh, game, and Demacia, and our Powder Monkey to go with our Powder Kegs. All right, Unyielding Spirit, Powder Keg, here we go. We obviously never want to see a Will of Ionia cast, ever. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty, pretty mean. Putting these together. Oh, I love this hand. All these one and two mana cards. We, of course, also just have, you know, like the Black Market Merchant Pilfer Goods. Synergy like these cards are just really strong, so they're going to be winning some games for us. I think I would trade Make It Rain for two random cards from them. You know, draw draw two, you know, like that's You know at that point like we are making the Make It Rain a uh, two for one. Problem is how how do we ever beat Elise now? So I could let them just attack, but we obviously we honestly don't have very many ways to use that powder keg. I'm gonna let them kill that powder keg to be able to block a spider. Hmm. 
there's there's tons and tons of choices, Hanzu, honestly. Um My personal Um My personal favorite is this deck, Twisted Fizz. Yud! <laughs> Thank you so much, Yud. You got legs. Use them. Um, but besides that, of course, there's just like the regular meta decks that you can, you know, check out and see if you like any of those as well. I want to play anything else and let them... Like, I'm going to just let them uh, pass with that five mana and not doing anything. This is pretty nice though if we can we can just like have powder kegs die and then we get radiant guardian. That's that's a pretty nice combination of powder keg and radiant guardian. end up regretting using that and not gaining the five life with the Radiant Guardian. So either five drop, five drop, or the two fours. No, you can't. No, you still can't attack with the, the powder keg, even if you buff it. It can't attack or block. We need to need to be able to block the Swain. That's why I have it in this three one. It's real important. Good Vile Thieves. Now we're gonna, the three one's going to be stunned, but now the priority goes back to me. We get to play this Radiant Guardian. Done something. Radiant Guardian. Let him bleed out. How tedious. I know what lurks in the shadows. Uh, 
Thankfully, Swain does not have Overwhelm. Stop. I think it's stunned again. Damaging our opponent's Nexus is, I feel like, is going to be just a problem with this deck. Nope, not at all, Talus. Nope, anybody can donate for a deck. Do not need to be a subscriber. We could definitely see blocking the 2-3 with my 1-1 one, one instead of the instead of blocking their 1-1. One, one. I am a little surprised they didn't have like their least challenge or you know like something challenge that powder keg. A little surprised there. Riptide Rex. Riptide Rex, the opponent. Your path ends here. Yeah, we could. Okay, so yeah. So, we're going to go with Purify with the Powder Keg. So it. I mean, Purify, I think, would get rid of. So then it would be able to attack and block. And then I think it would get rid of the vulnerable. Yep, powerhouse, yes. You can see the. Yep, you have the sub symbol there. You can. Uh, if it's not pop popping up for you, Powerhouse, refresh the stream. Usually, like, if you just subscribe, then sometimes you have to refresh the screen, the stream, and then the, the uh, on, like, where the chat is, the notification window will pop up. But yeah, either way, yep, it shows you as, as a subscriber. So thank you for a year now. That's awesome. Thank you, Powerhouse. Karma looks. All right, we'll keep keep the badger. Hoping they do not have Will of Ionia ever. Please, please never ever have Will of Ionia. Thanks, Powerhouse. Thank you. Well, glad to have you here. Yeah, we trade. Powerhouse said, you're the only streamer I can watch in any mood. Always relaxed and fun to watch. Thanks for your consistency. You're welcome. Alright, let's mess some folks up. No, don't don't mess some folks up. Why do I have seven mana? Why don't I have eight? I want to play Yordle Grifter and Make It Rain and Pilfer Goods. Well, I, okay, so I'm going to be Make It Rain on this thing, which means that I'm going to be Pilfer Goods, which means that I have mana for one more thing. And by mana for one more thing, I mean I have, I have three other mana to, that I can potentially use. If I, grab, if I do powder keg, you know we do two damage. Like, 
figured probably it was better to get a one cost thing instead of just two damage. It's, it's, it's just one extra damage, so you know, like. Go. Boom. It's a cannon shot. Five overwhelm. <laughs> Girlfriend considers he part of the family. Aw. Y'all are part of my family too. The scout. Yeah, yeah, Aw, thanks for the, the gifted sub out there, Yud. We got Bullenberg. Everywhere I go, the joining the channel. Welcome, Bullenberg. That's our third sub of the day. Alright, so I do have the mana for Unyielding Spirit. Powerhouse. Gotta come up. Thank you. Figured it out. Yeah, that's yep, that's that's kind of what we're trying to do is do powder keg on yielding. The thing is we just don't we don't have very many ways to really reward ourselves for powder keg on yielding. But yeah, that's kind of our, our deck goal. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Ask how much. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. How much damage can we get across? It's too late for you. Your lesson begins. You cannot escape. It's pretty silly to block a two one with a two two instead of a one three. But I think they're assuming that I can do damage to them. Like one one point of damage to a lot of things or to stuff because how I sent the Grizzled Ranger in against the Lux, then they didn't block. So in their mind, I can do like one damage, and so they don't want to risk the Eye of the Dragon. It's the Eye of the Dragon. So they're going to be casting two spells. If I play this, we have eight mana next turn. If I don't play it, 
We can have 10. The reason why I would want to play the, the deckhand first is because of deny. Playing this right now gives them a really good juicy deny target. Okay, good. Not deny. Alright, so I'm just not, not going to play the deckhand. Going to save the mana. That's a lot of life they've gained. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Yes. Yes, take Will of Ionia from them. So we're going to capture our own Gangplank. We'll fizzle their spell. Doesn't level up Lux. It's mm. unfortunate. Should have captured it behind a 4 4. I suppose. I was thinking, I captured it behind that because I you know, thought that thing was going to die the fastest. That's unfortunate. don't have anything to do with a you know if I go unyielding powder keg it's just like <laughs> the powder keg doesn't do anything Do have more cards than they do. Yeah, if you if you unyielding a powder keg, it, you can continually you can continue to stack more powder kegs. played two health potions already. Those are gone. This Lux is at five out of six as far as spells go. Burst speed. Can't do anything about that.
gonna level up Lux again and give him another four again. This is just such a broken combo. Thanks, yeah, thumbnails are up, thank you. That's true, one would fizzle. I mean, Lux is already two out of six, so one one would level up, but they wouldn't get the other four. kind of worried about it really does look like our deck is not very good at using powder keg and the problem with that is that we have like these cards like those those two drops that like the card basically the cards that just make the powder kegs don't do anything because <laughs> our deck can't use powder kegs so it's like what's you know I, just, I could just play a two man and two two but whenever we're there in that kind of in those kind of turns like later on in the game we don't. Two mana Tutu doesn't do anything. Could be, could be a, a game for Dreadway Deckhand. That is nice having your champions. Quite nice drawing. The best card in our deck, Twisted Fate. Give me Devour of Depths. I must get out of here. Clear off. You got legs. Use them. Withering Whale's better against me now, but obviously our Twisted Fate red card is going to be better for me. The Blessed Isles lives through me. Need to get Maokai out of here so they don't just get to play stuff and just get a whole lot of toss. Um. I'm always up for a round or two. You 
says I don't share. Hmm. Hey, Talus! Donated! Alright. We got a new donation deck. Let's see what we got. Thank you, Talus. Okay, looking for a Twisted Fate P and Z deck. Okay. I'm new, don't have really any idea to build a deck. This is the only one I've found so far, but I'm not a fan of slot bots. Okay. Okay, but yeah, I can yeah, I can definitely make a Twisted Fate P and Z deck. Best run while you can. Perfect, we'll have that all that for you tomorrow. Yeah, we can do one of those. Right, perfect. Thanks, Talus. Let me write that down. Twisted Fate P and Z. And I'll take a look at, at that deck that you linked there, too. I don't know what they're doing. They're... What's it that... Okay, it was salvage. They played two salvages. Dang. Yeah, perp. Yep, that's a good deck for tomorrow, for sure. So Twist Fate is at 4 out of 8. And Withering Will was why <clears throat> was the reason why I didn't want to play uh, more powder last turn. Oh no! The Abyssal Eye is not deep anymore. It goes away. Okay. We got the combo. If I go combo, I'm probably just chump blocking this Nautilus. I guess with like Badger Bear. Maybe we don't have to chump block. Twisted Fate is at 7 out of 8. Trust your instincts. But Twisted Fate also. Uh, we do have a lot of things that do damage. All right, I'm going for the combo. I mean, if we're playing the deck, we gotta, we have to at least go for the combo once. And we have a lot of things in hand that do damage. They could start doing more damage. Yielding spirit, powder keg. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so where's Gangplank at? Four out of five? Mm, let's see, let's see. Get some more powder kegs. Is a sharp tongue you've got there, Get a third one. Soak it in. Mm. 
There we go. That's good. Deal four to anything. We we'll make it rain with a red card. So red card's gonna do four to everything. Make it rain does four to everything. No. No. Something for all. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. Boo. Well, that makes life more difficult. <laughs> so, gold card will be able to stun Nautilus. They have four cards in the library. We know one of them's a Nautilus. They're gonna obliterate the powder cakes they shuffled back into my library. This does. Pretty sure we're gonna be deep now. Pretty sure we're deep now. The Hanzu! Getting that resub. Thank you, Hanzu. Hang them by their entrails. Looks like trouble. Geez. That would have been cooler if, um, you know, if we got to keep our powder keg in play, but we'll take the win. The will sing our tale this Twisted day. Fate's still good. Twisted Fate is still good. Alright, two and one. Yeah, goal made. Yes, sub goal hit. Uh, we'll we'll start a new sub goal. We'll see if we get there. Most likely not, but you never know. Um, and I will go write that down on our Twitch page. So basically, every ten sub goals, I do a ten-hour stream. So we've now hit five out of ten. We hit one yesterday and today. So we're halfway to our next 10 hour stream. Uh, what are we doing? Okay, playing against the same kind of deck. And we're going to get rid of single combat for sure. And probably get, I mean, Detain's not bad. I'm gonna get rid of it from the opener though. All right, we'll get rid of Yordle Grifter also. Probably just don't want two four mana cards basically. You're welcome. Alfuru, you're welcome. Yeah, that's that's what I uh, want to do. I want to show a, a very wide variety of decks for people to help people find decks they love. Yes, there are different servers in Legends of Runeterra. Yes. There are... I believe there are three servers. Total, like North America, EU, and something else. Cool, yeah, found me on YouTube first. Awesome. Well, happy to, happy to have you over here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. So uh, I can't I can't red card and play black market merchant. Um Obviously, they're just going to be... They, like, want to block with their thor Thorny Toad. Let's play some more Badger Bears. Maybe I should be playing Twisted Fate just to get... To start trying to level it up. 
Alright, come on, hit all hunters. Alright, we'll take it. Wasn't the absolute best of hitting Jaw Hunters and Dreg Dregers Dredgers. But we'll take it. We got the hunter out of here. Nice salvage. Little reminder, we're doing early stream tomorrow, again, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern, doing that every Monday, Wednesday, Friday now. Getting those early streams going. So Twist of Fate would be cool to play, but then that's like all we're doing for the turn. Um, I could make it rain, and then we could go with Gangplank and have a beefier attacker coming back at him. I don't want to do that. I think we go make it rain, then gang flank. Where are you? Mm. Nope. Kill my powder keg. That's fine. Maybe they won't. Darn, they figured it out. Alright, so I go straight to attacks or I twisted fate red card first. That's not bad. It's fate red card. I'm always up for a round or two. I like Twisted Fate's voice in here. Who says I don't share? Hopefully nothing too big. Could be a pretty healthy attack. As in, take a lot of health. I had it. I had the third make it rain. make that block. Overwhelm. The block that saves them the most damage is blocking, like, the 4-4. Four -four. That still puts them down to 3. Could have gained one life and gotten my 4 4 off the battlefield, but instead they decided to take one to do four damage to Gangplank. Basically, I think this is over. Yep. The decision there was either Detain or Yordle Grifter Plus. 
Like, basically, no matter what I decide to do there, we're going to be winning that. If I detain, then we'd still have, like, Unyielding Spirit for protection. Just, you know, like, we just detain, then untap, then, you know, untap attack with Unyielding Spirit. Yeah, like, the game is over. Hey, Moonlight. Howdy. Hope you're having a good day today. We're doing early stream again tomorrow. We're going with the early streams Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They've been a huge success. And so changing up the stream time for Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. Send them all back. Send them all back. Hey, we got a raid. What's up, Topher? Enjoyed your stream yesterday? Good, we like, glad you're having a good day. Mm, I'll just pass. Just pass the turn. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for the raid. All right, six mana. Now we're going to make it rain. And then we'll have the merchant bringing the goods after it rained. All right, yeah. Take care. I'll see you around. Love it. We get Deny, Will of Ionia. Those are good cards to have. I did just draw a whole bunch of cards and not have Twist of Fate in play. That's uh, the bummer. Bear block. Well, the good news is they used a lot of cards. We're doing that. They're down to four. I have seven. Do it like this to get the damage on them instead of gold. You know, gold card, we take out the three two. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. But I want to take out the damage on them so that I get to plunder. Take that Minotaur Reckoner. Yeah, this board has some really cool music. It, like when you change the, the different boards, the different songs play. This is the Bilgewater theme. I think it's technically Gangplank's theme. As far as I know. Pick on someone your own speed. You cannot escape. Bear. 
Ow. Not using any of that mana. Get him. Alright, seven mana. What do we want to do? Besides kill Yasuo. So I could have... I could single combat Yasuo and have deny backup. Or... I just play the Grifter for now. Still keep deny back up. Hey, got another donation! Awesome! Rornig! So I don't have a deck, but I'd like you to build one for me and test it. The only constraint is that it has to involve both Fizz and Swain, because those are your two favorites. I haven't found a way to make them work myself, but it could be an interesting challenge. All right, that will be an interesting challenge. All right, so we've got to have Fizz and Swain. So yeah, that's going to take some testing, and I will absolutely do that for you. How to combine those two. Will do. Thank you, Ronig. And I'll have that for you soon. Probably not tomorrow, but um, try the next day. So let's see. Today's Tuesday. I'll try it for Thursday if that works for you. Thursday, we'll have a Fizz Swain deck. Cool. And Thursday, you know, I'll stream at the same time as now. Um... So let's see. Twist of Fate, you're at 7 out of 8. So I just need to draw like one card. So I need to play that thing. To draw a card. So let's start there. Level up Twist of Fate. Because level up Twist of Fate is broken. No, the Unyielding Spirit. Alright, so now we can start doing stuff. Because I wasn't doing stuff before. We're going to Morning Shot, get a blue card. We're going to make it rain, get a red card, and deny, get a gold card. Keep them from doing stuff. Honestly, I probably should, like, Concussive Palm instead of Deny. So at this point, it's probably okay. Mega Rain kill something. Yes, it did. And Ronick also getting the Tier 1 sub. Awesome. Bring that hype. Thanks, Ronick. You're awesome. Alright, perfect. Uh, let's see. So we got a 3-2 still coming at us. Probably take three. Okay. Ugh. Ten mana. Fortunately, I haven't really found other cheap things to do. But we should be good. We're gonna get blue card here. Rodig! Love it! Y'all get some hype in the chat. Rodig's hitting another sub goal for us. Let's go. I'm gonna get some Santas in here. Sorry, opponent. Too much hype going on. Alright, so this will do two to everything now. Take those out. This will also level up Gangplank. Sure, that's fine. Yeah, I gotta make them goals. Alright, so basically each sub goal that we hit again gets us towards a 10 hour stream. So I'll mark that down. So that's gonna be our sixth goal. And that info is right underneath my video here on Twitch. 
So that's our sixth, six out of ten towards a ten-hour stream. All right, now we can play one more thing and get them a red card. We'll do this thing, I suppose. Or a gold card, I mean. Sorry, gold card. It's done that. This is leveled up. Thing not block. Boys. Dishonorable. Love it. Thanks, Ronig. Yeah, I'll definitely work hard on that Fizz Swain deck. And that should do it. Oh, I guess we have the Overwhelm. They were very dead before that. All right, four and one with unyielding powder. Stop coming for those who wronged me. Went four and one. Yeah, we definitely. Yeah, we had some bad luck with that first game. That is true. I feel like we had a lot of good luck with a lot of the other games, though. <laughs> you know, so uh, yeah, four and one's very respectable. Honestly, it just didn't. You know, we. We only had like one game where we were going to actually do the whole powder thing. For the most part, we just don't really have enough damage to make it work. But it just kind of shows how strong a Twisted Fate is. Like how strong Black Market Merchant, Pilfered Goods, Twisted Fate, uh, you know, those cards um, really helped carry us. But honestly, Gangplank looked great in these, in these games. Better than I think I've ever seen Gangplank look. Um, the 5-5 five, five Overwhelm was doing a lot of damage. It was like the biggest thing around and, and doing a lot of damage with the Overwhelm. We got to level up Gangplank twice that I was kind of surprised about. Um, yeah, Gangplank looked great. Um, but cards like Petty Officer and Dreadway Deckhand, I'm real skeptical about, especially Dreadway Deckhand. Petty Officer did some good work for us a couple of times. Um, you know, being like a a three three mana three power that let us play something to block Swain that was big, and, and you know get us another uh, one cost ally as well. That definitely helps. Like that that one game, and I think there was another game where where we played it and helped it helped us out. Um, so it was okay. Uh, Badger Bear looked great. Yeah, Badger Bear was awesome. Like plenty of times, like the three mana four four, would like really stopped our opponent. You know, put them in their tracks. So yeah, Badger Bear looked great. Um, kind of wish we had more more par more parlays, but there we go. That's our deck, Unyielding Powder. Uh, you know, didn't do our namesake thing too much. We got to pull it off one time, but still, uh, just a good a solid deck and another four one. We've been having some some luck. All right, uh, that's it here for Unyielding Power. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave any comments or anything. Uh, love, you know, those likes and comments really do uh, go a long way with uh, spreading the channel and everything. So I appreciate those. Um, but that's it here for Unyielding Powder. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.